500 HD with the 5.9 Cummins. As you can hear, it's here because the check engine light is on and it's doing some weird drivability problems. I also noticed when I drove it in, as reverse, no neutral display. Kind of displays neutral sometimes. No drive display. No second. The first works. Now that may have an effect on the transmission operation. We'll see. But we're going to scan and find out why the check engine light is on. 364,000 kilometers. So with this scan tool, it does not support a network code scan. So we're just going to go straight into engine automatic with AC and see what codes are there. Now I think he said he changed the boost pressure sensor and it's still generating a fault code. Map sensor voltage low. Cooling fan control circuit open. Hmm. I wonder if they're related. I wonder if they share the reference voltage. Cooling fan control circuit. But that's the control circuit, not the sensor. Not the fan speed sensor. I wonder if he's got it unplugged. Cooling fan control circuit open. P0480. Well, let's have a look at data in the engine control computer and see what the map sensor voltage or boost pressure sensor voltage is right now. Boost pressure 14.9 psi but that's calculated. Boost pressure sensor voltage is 0.5. Now given the fact that it's turbocharged that might be adequate. Boost voltage 1.3 volts. Well, I'm going to have a look and see what's common or what's uh, the typical voltage from this sensor. Because it's uh, turbocharged, it's got to work into a positive pressure. But 0.5 does seem a bit low to me. But we'll have a look. So there is the MAP sensor slash boost sensor. It's also intake air temp sensor as well. That's why there's four wires on it. Normally a pressure sensor would only have three. So we're going to use the information that's in the uh, Vantage Pro here to just figure out what the operating range of this sensor is. Uh, let's see here. So inlet air pressure sensor is pin 1. That's backside gray. Supply voltage dark blue. And PSI return, dark green and yellow. Let's see if this has voltage tests. To test the temp sensor, to test the temp sensor, connect the yellow to temp signal, black to non good ground. It's not the temp sensor portion I'm worried about. Sensor voltage should be between 0.5 and 4.5. To test the pressure side, pressure signal, test drive the vehicle's voltage should rise and fall with manifold pressure. Well, that's useful. What should it be a key on engine off? That's what I want to know. Okay, well, let's measure it and see what it is. So first and foremost, my wire colors don't match this. Pin 1 is supposed to be gray and brown, and it looks like it's brown and pink. Let's see what pin 4 is. Dark green and yellow. Uh, pin 4 on this one is blue. So I'm going to get a schematic. So I'm looking for the setting criteria for P0107, inlet air pressure sensor voltage too low says the set condition, the circuit voltage to the ECM falls below a calibrated threshold for a certain period of time. Thank you very much. And here's the troublemaker chart here, obviously. We have multiple DCCs, 
repair the other DTCs first. Well, I got a DTC for the radiator cooling fan, but I don't think that's related. It's not, it's the control circuit. Harness connector looks okay. Let's see if it gives us a hint here. Well, I'm going to use jumper wire to connect the yellow volt supply circuit with the K69 signal circuit at the sensor harness connector. So, I tried to find a schematic for this. Let's look in the diagrams here. Electrical diagrams, diagrams, powertrain management, system diagram, wiring diagram index. And here is the map sensor. It's 8W30-23, 29, and 41. So if I go back to here, 8W30-23, 29, and 41 don't exist. If I go into diagrams by number, W30, 23, 29, and 41 don't exist. Thanks. All such around here. So here's a Mitchell version of the diagram. It says the violet and white wire or brown white wire is the temp signal and brown and yellow brown yellow is the air pressure sensor signal. So that goes to this previous diagram, location 5, right here. This is the, okay, let's blow this up and have a look at it. Yeah, that makes sense. Brown and yellow pin 4. The other one was pin two, two and four, brown and yellow. Let's see if I can see that. So I went back to the data list that I had right here going on and I noticed I had picked fuel pressure voltage. I thought I clicked on the boost voltage. So it's 1.3, which is realistic in my opinion. So why is it setting a low voltage code on that circuit? Unless there's a, I wonder what happens when we have an open circuit. Let's see what the voltage goes to when we unplug that sensor. That's what I'm measuring on pin 4 at the actual sensor right now, back pinning it. Back pinning that pin 4, which isn't brown by the way. It reads 1.27. So unless that circuit goes open when it's running, which is possible, we're going to see what it goes to with the circuit unplugged. So with the sensor unplugged that goes to 0 volts, which kind of suggests that it doesn't have a diagnostic resistor in there. So I, if there's a break or an intermittent open in that wire, it's going to see low voltage on that circuit, but it's not doing it now. I didn't check it while it was running, though. So with the sensor plugged in, it reads 1.3 volts. I'm going to clear the codes out of this thing. So unless that wire is going open or shorted to ground. Well, how could I have that code already? Map sensor voltage too low. I just cleared it. Let's see the data again. Now mind you, I'm back pinning it right, oh no, the PCM is measuring 1.3 volts, 1.3 volts, 14.9 PSI, it's an absolute sensor, so that's realistic, it's not running, so how come that's too low? I wonder if we've got a failing ECM here. Let's try this again. Let's clear it out again one more time. Huh. Now I'm going to do some more research. 
Well, I can't explain why that code won't clear because it's not out of range right now, according to the data. I think I'm going to disconnect the connector at the boost pressure sensor and short the 5 volts to the signal. This should go to 5 volts. Boost PSI 14.9. So I'm going to do that. So I've jumped the 5 volts to the signal and now it reads 5 volts. Now we should actually have a boost pressure high code. Let's go back and read codes now and see what comes back. Yeah, got intake manifold temperature and map sensor voltage too low. Map sensor voltage too low. Well, let's clear it and see what comes back. We should have a high code now. Can't be a wiring problem because the PCM is seeing it correctly. Map sensor voltage too high. Now we got that one, but we still got the map sensor low code. We can't seem to clear that one. Hmm. This code should not be here. Intake air temp sensor voltage high. Yes, that one I could see because it's unplugged and it goes to 5 volts. This one because I've got it jumped to 5 volts, but this one should be in his should be gone. It should be able to clear that P0107. It's almost like the PCM is falsely reading the Let's see what the data shows. Data. Boost pressure is zero because it's out of range. Boost pressure voltage is five volts. Intake air temperature is 114, but the intake air temperature voltage is five volts too. Wonder if I could uh, put a variable resistor in there and try and manipulate the reading. Let's try that. So I got this variable resistor connected across the sensor between the 5 volts and the signal, and I've got it dialed into about 60,000 ohms. That's times a thousand. And the boost pressure sensor reading right now is so it reads about 2.3 volts at 60,000 ohms resistance in there. Let's exit out of here and, and clear the code. And read the codes again. Okay, I got the air temp sensor still unplugged, but there's no reason for this map sensor code to keep returning. I think we've got a failed PCM here because the sensor is in range in my opinion although I can't find any specific value for what it should be but it looks realistic hmm I wonder what it shows for intake manifold pressure at that voltage I would imagine as the voltage goes up the pressure goes up boost pressure 25 psi so that's about 10 pounds of boost pressure 10 11 pounds of boost pressure that makes sense so it's looking like we have a failed PCM here I'm gonna read the troublemaker chart just for the hell of it so here's the troublemaker chart right from Dodge inlet air pressure sensor voltage too low do you have multiple DTCs? I don't anymore. Go to 2. Disconnect the sensor. Inspect for connections. Measure the 5 volts. 5 volts is good. Yes. Go to step 3. While monitoring with the scan tool, use a jumper wire to connect the 5 volts to the signal. Should show a pressure sensor out of range high DTC. Yes, it does that, but it still shows a low DTC, even if I clear it. So what do I answer here? Yes. If I answer yes, replace the air temperature pressure sensor. It's already been replaced. 
If I answer no, it says disconnect it and check the harness connections, check connections, check continuity of the wires. Hmm. Let's assume we test the wiring okay. Go to 8. Man, I hate resistance measurements of wires. It's a pain in the ass and a waste of time, in my opinion. 5 volts to the signal. Show pressure sensor range. DTC, yes. Repair to intermittent condition. Remember, it does say replace the ECM. <laughs> Guess the ECM is not going to fail. Never going to fail. Looking at cases on this thing, it, I, I know I told him about a potential problem with uh, the viscous fan clutch, and I think he disconnected it. That's why we had that code for the solenoid in history. You can see air inlet temperature sensor pressure sensor is the common fix here and the fan clutch assembly because the, the speed sensor in the fan clutch from what I understand shares the same 5 volt reference but the 5 volts is fine now. I'm going to try and see if I can find any other information. So there's the sensor plugged back in. Boost pressure reading looks normal 14.9 boost pressure sensor voltage 1.3 and intake air temperature sensor voltage 1.5 which is what I measure right at the sensor with a voltmeter so we should not have those codes I'm going to read the codes one more time should have an air temp sensor code and a map sensor code so I'm going to clear these codes say yes And then I'm going to go back and read the codes again. And the temp sensor code cleared, but the map sensor code did not clear. So I'm leaning towards a, a failed PCM. Um, I did find another case here where it says to check the boost pressure sensor voltage. It should normally be about 1 volt key on engine off. Well, mine's 1.3. As boost pressure is developed, the voltage will increase, which is what, exactly what I thought. Um, everybody changes the, the boost pressure sensor, and it's already been replaced. It's not out of range. Why is it setting the code? So I road tested this thing, and it seems to run pretty decent, except it keeps generating that P0107 code. I did record the data. Let's have a look at it. So in this data recording here, playing back in Shop Screen Connect, you can see that when I was on the throttle here, boost pressure was increasing. It came hit as high as 39 psi. Basically, subtract 15 psi from that because that's a static pressure. And high as 3.4 volts on the boost pressure sensor voltage, but it never went below 1.2 volts. So through the course of the entire road test, the vehicle seemed to run decent just this stupid code so I'll have to discuss this with the customer and see what he wants to do but I think it's uh, a faulty PCM so yesterday when I was testing this boost pressure sensor and looking at boost voltage and boost PSI for the map sensor low code let's go back and look at this this fault code. I couldn't figure out why it kept setting a low voltage from the MAP sensor, which would typically be the boost pressure sensor, even if I had it unplugged and shorted to 5 volts. But when I shorted it to 5 volts, as you'll notice in the previous section of the video here, I had both the MAP sensor high voltage and a MAP sensor low voltage. So I started thinking last night, I wonder if there's a separate barometric pressure sensor turns out there is. Unfortunately, the snap-on tool here displays barometric pressure as in uh, inches of mercury here, 24.39 inches of mercury, but it doesn't display the voltage. I'll show you where that sensor actually is and the sensor that's actually failed. 
So this is the actual inlet air pressure sensor and temperature sensor. So there's actually two in one. It's very similar to the boost pressure sensor over there on the intake manifold. I wasn't even aware that they had this here. I thought it was a mass airflow sensor, but it's not. It's a uh, inlet air pressure and temperature. So if you look in the troubleshooter here on the Vantage Pro, it shows a little bit of information about this. And I don't know if I saw this yesterday. I didn't read it. This is best sensor location on the air filter box cover as opposed to the boost pressure sensor, which I don't even know if they have listed in here. Inlet, intake air, heater, inlet air, temperature. That's the one. Intake air. And it says located on top of the intake manifold. Now you can see how I was confused. Most manufacturers will use the uh, reading from the intake manifold or MAP sensor as a barrel reading key on engine off. Anyways, let's go to tests, DC voltage test. So right now, the first pin on this sensor wire brown pin here is ground and that reads 0 0.04 the second pin I believe is 5 volts and we have 5 volts there the third pin is intake air temperature and that reads 2.68 which sounds realistic and the fourth pin is the fourth pin is the barometric pressure or intake air pressure and that's 0 0.01 so that's wrong now looking at the data list on the scan tool there is no reading for barometric pressure other than other than this barrel reading in inches of mercury So Snap-on left that reading out or it's not available. I'm sure it is available and Snap-on left it out. So it's not on that side. There's boost voltage. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen when I jump the signal to the 5 volts and what code I get now. So the signal wire is the brown yellow wire and the second one beside it is the 5 volt reference so I've jumped a 5 volt reference to the brown yellow wire I've got the connector to reconnect it at the ECM and I'm going to turn the key on and see what code it sets now so as you can see now it sets a ambient temperature sensor high because it's unplugged it's open circuit and map sensor low is probably still there from before and map sensor high which is what I expected it to do the first time let's clear the codes out of it and the low voltage code should go away and should remain with the high voltage code give it a few seconds I'm not sure what the criteria is but it's fairly important sensor so the low voltage code is gone and now we have the high voltage code so I'm thinking that should be producing about a one volt signal so I'm going to put a resistor across there. Just curious as to what the barometric pressure shows on the scan tool now. Remember it doesn't give me the barometric pressure or inlet air pressure. Still see this anything other than a voltage is, is usually a calculation so when it says inches of mercury so we're going to put a, uh, there's no PID here for barometric pressure voltage or ambient air pressure voltage. So we're going to put a variable resistor in there and, dial and measure it about 1 volt and see what happens. So I have a variable resistor across here of 100,000, so that's 100 times 1,000. And it reads 1.7 volts here measuring it on the signal wire. Let's see what that uh, does to the codes. It reads 19 inches of mercury. So I wonder if I can clear the codes. 
when it's out of range it substitutes an average value so the only thing I should have is the intake temperature sensor code ambient temperature yes so I'm going to experiment with that resistor to get it to read about 29 inches of mercury which is our barometric pressure today if I can I don't think I can get it even lower. I think that resistor box only goes to 100,000 barrel pressure. I'll play with it a little bit. So basically, I started at 100K and then I went to 70, then 4 or 60, then 50. Now I'm down to 10K and it's reading 30 inches of mercury. So I'm going to go above 12 or 15K, try to get it to read a realistic pressure. So there we have 29.5 on the meter. We should have no codes other than the temp sensor code. I might have turned it too low. No, I didn't. Okay, so let's go back to the data and then we'll have a look at what I've got it set at. I think I got it about 12,000 ohms. Uh, barrel pressure. 29.5. Go back over here at the vehicle. I've got it set at around 15, 14 kilo ohms, just under 15, reading of 3.9 volts. So basically, after all this, it needs this stupid pressure sensor. It's it's kind of like a GM map sensor, but it's also got an integrated temp sensor into it. What was throwing me off is the fact that the, the fault code being generated references a MAP sensor, which would typically be the boost pressure sensor. Oh well, we learned a little bit on this thing. So with a 12,000 ohm resistor wired across the, the back of the sensor, and I had to break off the sensor terminal for the pressure sensor signal because the sensor is actually shorted. Uh, it reads 30 inches of mercury, which is a little bit high. We should be about 29.5 here. And there shouldn't be any codes now. No, there's no codes now. So that'll work until we get a new sensor. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fix that range sensor as well.